are our souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back. Back to the Bible. Does it work? That's a really good question. And when you're dealing with evangelism, the most important work in the world, that's a question we should all be asking. We don't need to spin our tires in the mud, keep digging when there's nothing there. We need to ask, does it work? So does door knocking work? You know, a lot of people today don't think it works because they've never seen it work. They've really never been trained. They're still trying to take the techniques that we used in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, and they're trying to apply them today. It doesn't work, so they just give up. And then they proclaim, door knocking doesn't work, so you shouldn't do it. Brethren, please understand that door knocking reaches the unchurched and unreachable. They're not coming. They're not coming to your events. They're not going to click your icons, your apps, listen to your podcasts. They're not going to, they're, they're, they're not going to read your articles. They, they are not going to listen to your programs. They're not coming. The only way you get to them is to go to them. The American Mission Campaigns have been an incredible success for our school. What we did is we took the strategies that we're teaching at our school. We took them to the field. We took them to Covington, Tennessee, Rome, Georgia, Knoxville, Tennessee, Cleburne, Texas, Cary, North Carolina. The results have been astounding. What we have seen is that not only does door knocking work, it can be actually very effective in a limited scope. Now, if you're walking up to the door and saying, hey, would you like to come to our gospel meeting? That's a loser. They're not coming. There are better ways to advertise your gospel meeting than that. If you're asking people, hey, would you like to have a personal Bible study? It's a terrible idea. You're going to get single-digit success. People are going to slam the door in your face, and you're going to go away with a very negative outlook on door knocking. But if you would try to use the things that we're training congregations to use, your success rate is going to increase dramatically. Let me give you an example. Hey, we're trying to reach out to our local community and get to know people in our church. We would like to know, do you know anybody who's having a tough time right now? Maybe we could send them some cards and encourage them and lift their spirits. Do you know of anybody that we can love? They look at you and say, hey, I could use some of that love. I've recently lost my father. It's been really tough. Would, you, would it be okay for us to send you some cards? What about this? We're just local Christians. We're trying to get to know our community. And we'd like to know, is there anybody around our church building that just needs prayers? Do you know of anybody that needs some prayers right now? Oh, my, my mother just moved in. And, and she's, she's, she's having some health problems. Would you mind putting her on your prayer list? Oh, man, we'd be glad to do that. Did you know, using those two approaches, we achieved a 30 and 25% success rate? Let me repeat that. 30 and 25%. So if you're getting a 30 and 25% success rate, friend, that's successful. What about going to the door and letting people know as you talk to them, oh, by the way, on Friday, we're having a community meal, the local restaurant, one of the best restaurants in our area, they're catering it. We just like to get to know you. Would you guys like to come? Here's a meal ticket invitation. Did you know as we walk through the community and we use prayer and card, we use house to house, heart to heart, we use benevolence, we use new movers. We had a 73% success rate using new movers in Cary, North Carolina, 83% in Cleburne, Texas. That means of the people we talked to, that percentage said, we'd like to know more. Thank you for coming. And it provides us an opportunity to go back. Did you know that 89 of those people showed up at our meal? 89 people in the community within a few miles of the church came on that Friday evening to eat with us. Now listen to this, 20 of the 89 came to Sunday service. Now brethren, with numbers like that, why aren't we training our church members how to properly knock doors? This is a no-brainer. Please don't listen to those who don't understand door knocking and discourage churches to door knock. If you don't know how to do it, if you've not seen those success numbers, contact us. We'll train you. We'll help you. There are people listening right now. You are Christians because someone knocked on your door. Door knocking is not the only contact creator, but it's one. It's effective. And we'd be glad to teach you how to do it. 
our annual door knocking days, the first Saturday in October. We hope you'll consider it. Contact us at evangelism.housetohouse.com. Email me, rob at housetohouse.com. We'll give you tools, strategies, and help you, rather than to God be the glory. This is all for Him so that souls are saved. Thank you for listening. We just plant and water, then watch God see the increased start. There are souls at stake. Let's give it our best. Let's take them back. Back to the Bible.